Good evening, St. John's. As many of you know, we've just concluded a 24-hour prayer vigil. It was a prayer vigil for All Saints Day and All Souls Day and the pandemic and the presidential election, just this whole compilation of things that require our prayer, that draw us to both gratitude and petition. Gratitude for all the saints who have gone before, both the official saints of the church and simply those beloved, not known widely in the world, but cherished in our own families and church. And I chose to go to the chapel at church to pray, where we'd set up a big, large font filled with rocks and candles sitting on the rocks. And amongst the rocks were the little stones that we've used in various liturgies in the past, where everyone in the church has their name written on a rock, and we've invited people to, to hold these rocks. And so I walked in and just grabbed three rocks out of the bowl and sat down to pray. My rocks were Peggy Dole. She's in her mid-90s, has a shut-in now, has had a rich and painful life. But the richest part of it were the years she was married to Heine and they would sail his boat. He was a fabulous sailor, way up along the B.C. coast into little inlets where most people were afraid to sail. And she loved nature. And there's one island where there's these white black bears, and she was friends with them. The bears would come out and visit her each summer when she landed and she them. I also had Megan No, a young mom in our church and a senior warden. And I had Owen Behrens, who was raised at the church and is just headed off to university for his freshman year of college. And I sat holding their, these rocks throughout my time of praying. And there was something extraordinarily rich, extraordinarily rich about it. I was there by myself in the middle of the night, and I was not by myself. All those candles glowing in the font were the saints with whom I am still joined. And I looked at their light reflecting on the baptismal water, baptism which makes us one. It also became that sea that divides us between the living and the dead and their light reflecting in it. So I was with the saints. I saw Russell and Loretta, both their rocks were there. And I was with Peggy and Owen and Megan and her family. And as I said the prayers, I realized I was praying it with them and for them. I was particularly mindful uh, as we looked to the future, the coming out of this presidential election, and but beyond that, uh, where are we going as a planet with climate change and whatnot? And I found myself praying, oh God, may this planet be one that Owen and Megan's girls, Miriam and Bridget, can inherit and enjoy, that they could enjoy it as Peggy Dole enjoyed it with Heine. And there was just this gathering of people throughout time as one people, the beloved of God. I suppose this is part of what All Saints calls us to do. And as we anticipate the election tomorrow, and the future of our nation and world. It is this deep yearning for peace, for wholeness, for a neighborliness in which we want to create a good world for the next generation to inhabit. It is all these things that draws us to the poles, which draws us to prayer, and ultimately is what draws us to God who is making all things one. Let us pray. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In the infinity of night skies, in the free flashing of lightning and whirling elemental winds, you are God. In the impenetrable mists of dark clouds, and the wild gust of lashing rain, and the ageless rocks of the sea, you are God, and I bless you. You are in all things, and contained by no thing. You are the life of all life, and beyond every name. You are God, and in the eternal mystery I praise you.
Happy are those whose strength is in you. Jesus said, The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. For your spirit woven into the fabric of creation, for the eternal overlapping with time and the life of earth interlaced with heaven's vitality, I give you thanks, O God. For your untamed creativity, your boundless mystery, and your passionate yearnings planted deep in the soul of every human being, I give you thanks. Grant me the grace to reclaim these depths, to uncover this treasure, to liberate these longings, and in being set free in my own spirit, to act for the well-being of the world. I invite your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. From the Book of Common Prayer. Keep watch, dear Lord, of those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. O brother Jesus, who wept at the death of a friend and overturned tables in anger at wrong, let me not be frightened by the depths of passion. Rather, let me learn the love and anger and wild expanse of soul within me that are true expressions of your grace and wisdom. And assure me again that in becoming more like you, I come closer to my true self, made in the image of outpouring love, born of the free eternal wind. Amen. Good night, Kick Harbor.